Hey everyone, welcome back to the build. Uh, it is very hot today. I had the fan going and even that wasn't enough. It's crazy. Uh, maybe I'll put my air conditioner in one of the windows. So anyway, um, I've been working on the second side. I did the all the rails up there. I haven't cleaned up the, I haven't wire brushed off all the flux yet. Well, from the flux core wire. Um, I did add, this is one of the bars, <clears throat> excuse me, this is one of the bars that will tie in the um, two sides. This one here bolts in. Um, I used some uh, rivet nuts to get them. So I, I bought some rivet nuts. This one here is a, a number eight metric. And um, it took three broken 8.6, I think it is, um, bolts to get that one in. Uh, yeah, 8.8, .8, sorry. It took three of them to get this one in and it's not even in that good. Um, I can't tighten it up. I think I stripped it. And then this one, I had no luck whatsoever. So I ordered, I ordered the right tool to put that in and that should be here tomorrow. So that will help hopefully put those in. Um, so yeah, this is boltable. This removes. Um, I still have a major crossbar here to put in, but I need to order some 3 16 uh, metal so I can build build the two brackets on that side. And I also got to build the brackets down here, which will make that bar, that little one right there, um, boltable on both sides. Um, yeah, this side was fun. Not as bad as the other side. I did have to cut this section back out, this tie bar here. Uh, for whatever reason, I stopped thinking. It's supposed to be centered on this bar and that bar. And what I did was I partially centered it on this bar and all the way on the edge on this side. Don't know why I did that, but I cut that back out. I refixed that. The other side, it was done right the first time. Um, I also added in a new string line. It goes all the way across the car to keep the center line straight. And I started working on the front lower section. So that's it right here. This section is all two by three um, steel with a couple of crossbars. And again, I haven't cleaned any of the, of the residue off of that. So when that's finished um, next weekend, I will do the upper section, which will um, tie into here and then also bring in the um, uh, the tubes that go across that tie in the the roll bar to the to the front portion so that'll be in there um, what else did I do last week I said I was going to put in these two bars so they're in they're just tack welded or spot welded in um, that way if I need to move them based upon where the transmission sits and where the engine sits in here um, I do still have to move this back one inch yeah, I'm a little dirty here. Uh, move this back one inch because it bowed in when I when I welded it up. So I'll fix that probably next weekend or maybe later this week. I'm not sure. Um, as I said, next I'm going to do the front section, uh, which will actually sit into these little pockets I got right here. There'll be another set of two by threes that will come out and uh, some angled bars like I did in the back tie this in um, overall it's coming along good as I mentioned in one of the other videos um, all the tubes are uh, um, Imperial is that what it's called yeah um, so inches so all the tubes are inches um, two by three one and a half by one uh, I think I had some three-quarter like three-quarter but all the dimensions as far as lengths widths um, and all that are all in centimeters so I can get it a little more accurate than I would if I was trying to do it in fractionals um, I thought it would just be a little little easier that way so a couple of things are going to happen is um, in the back here there's a piece of uh, three quarter not three quarter excuse me uh, three sixteenths inch steel that will actually tie all three of these together and there's one on each side they just kind of run up the, that pole there and up that side there now that'll tie that together um, what else do I have here and as I mentioned next probably week after next or a few after that 
I'll do the tie here, which will keep that nice and tight. Uh, I just got to get the body. I got to get the roof back on before I can stop pulling that that off. Um, what else? Oh, I did have to modify my squares, my welding squares. Um, I had to cut off that section of it so I could fit the two by threes because I have one that needs to bypass and the one that came in for the front section here. So I had to cut off like a quarter inch so I could put it up in here to keep these tubes nice and square as I um, welded those up. So now they're all square, everything's nice. The dimensions are, are right from front to back here, or front to more front, I don't know what you wanna call that. I did wanna point out <clears throat> that using this mild steel from here in the US, uh, it's horrible. It's got uh, all mill scale on it, so you have to clean everything up. Your hands get filthy even with gloves on, trying to, trying to clean these things up. Um, I think it takes longer to prep this, grind down some ends, get it nice and clean to do a good weld. Then it probably takes longer to do that than it does to actually weld it. Uh, so at least it seems with me. And then of course the garage gets covered in complete mill scale that you have to clean. Um, I've actually been doing a few things. One, I have a box of scraps. This is all the, so far, the extra metal from the tubes. And then I even kept, these are all tubes for um, the rest of the front and then a few other pieces. But I have a bucket here of just sanding debris, uh, grinding debris of metal. I just want to see how much metal I've ground and threw away. So as I mentioned a little earlier, um, next weekend, I'm gonna do the two front pieces that'll come in. They'll, t they'll be a tie together. There'll be a brace that goes across angled this way. And then I think there's three that tie on an angle down to this main, main two by three. Uh, and then there's a couple that tie it across this way. So here's a little picture of the, um, the front section. I've done this portion of it down here in the bottom. I still have to add in these three here and then I gotta make this entire front section. One thing you'll notice on this is it comes across and then it drops down a little and then comes back out. Uh, I think I have a picture of that yeah, right here. Um, the reason for that is the Corvette suspension is pretty high, pretty tall, so um, I had to bring that up. But if I came just straight across, I would have ended up hitting the roof of the, um, the Aventador, so. I had to jog it down and bring it across. Um, but other than that, it's slowly getting there. You can see a few of the dimensions and whatnot of the front. So anyway, that's my project for today. Um, I've had a few people ask if I was gonna sell the blueprints for this. Um, I'm considering it, I guess, if there's enough interest. Um, I have no idea what to charge for this. I know it took me a million hours and 300 versions to get to where I am um, but so far it's coming along good I still haven't I still haven't added in any of the braces here yet um, I think I'll just add a small one tying the, the three rails on either side um, just a little extra support and then I'll have to add that to my blueprints um, but anyway if you're interested like and follow and uh, I'll be posting again and soon thanks